Local fire officials talk defensible space and wildfire mitigation one year after the Buffalo Fire. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, a gas leak in downtown Breckenridge closed streets for several hours late this morning, the second time in one week a construction crew has punctured a gas line there. The leak happened around 10.30 a.m. at Ridge Street and Washington Avenue, closing five blocks on Ridge and French. There were no evacuations and no one was injured. Excel crews sealed the line by 11.50 a.m. with no leaks in neighboring buildings. Roads remained closed for several more hours. These two incidents come as Breck installs cable for its multi-million dollar Fiber 90 600 project, a town-owned fiber optic network. Tomorrow is the one-year anniversary of the Buffalo Fire, and fire conditions now are much safer than they were last June. The predictions currently are showing a wetter than average next few months and with some average to below average temperatures, which is good news for wildfire danger. That was Summit Fire Chief Jeff Barino. He says conditions might be safer, but that does not mean wildfire danger is zero. We cannot get complacent. As uh, we all know in Summit County, a few weeks of hot, dry weather can change things very rapidly. Summit County saw a huge spike in its chipping program last summer after the Buffalo Fire, led by homeowners clearing slash and other fire hazards from their properties. Steve Lipscher with Summit Fire. We'll come out to your house and walk your property with you and talk about principles of defensible space. What is defensible space? Creating an envelope around your home that gives our firefighters a fighting chance to save the home from an encroaching wildfire or more likely from an ember storm. Defensible space consultations are free through local fire districts. Contact Red, White and Blue Fire or Summit Fire and EMS to schedule a walkthrough. Breckenridge and Copper Mountain open for summer operations this Friday at 10 a.m. with Alpine coasters, zip lines, food, and more. The Keystone Bike Park opened lower trails last week. Expect upper trails by late June, and Epic Discovery at Vale is open now seven days a week. Scenic chairlift drives at Beaver Creek get started this Saturday, while lifts at A Basin are still spinning for skiing through June 23rd, Friday through Sunday. Summer is also construction season at ski areas. Prepping now for next winter is Copper, building a new hotel at the Chapel Lot outside Center Village and a three-person chairlift at Tucker Mountain on the backside. That should start spinning next year. No timeline yet for the hotel. Keystone is installing new snowmaking guns and miles of piping, doubling its frontside coverage for guaranteed opening by mid-October. At Breckenridge, Peak 8 is getting new slopeside offices for ski school tickets and ski rental, part of the final phase at the Grand Colorado Lodge. That project should be completed by fall. After two summers of nonstop work on new chairlifts and terrain, a basin is taking a break this summer. Same at Loveland. Frisco water rates are about to go up for the first time in several years, and it's all in the name of conservation. Town Manager Nancy Carey. Everything the town is working on right now tracks back to a specific goal, and this tracks back to being a sustainable environment and the adoption of the not only the Climate Action Plan, but last year the council adopted a water efficiency plan. Carey hopes higher water rates encourage less use while funding upgrades to the town water system. We have to be very careful as population grows and the town grows, that water source is not necessarily growing, so we've got to become more efficient with it. Frisco Town Council hears a second reading of the water rate increase tonight. That measure passed 6 to 1 on first reading with Dan Fallon, the lone no vote. New rates take effect this summer. Also, at today's meeting in Frisco, town council votes on funding for avalanche cleanup at the 10 mile rec path. The county hired a contractor recently for $87,500. Frisco and the county will split the cost. Council also votes on first reading of a solar rebate program for $1,500 per household with solar power. Council meets 7 p.m. at Town Hall on Main. At the Breckenridge Town Council meeting, Council hears second reading of a contract for fiber optic installation. That bill passed unanimously on first reading and second reading of workforce housing requirements for the Peak 8 Hotel project. It comes with 24 new units for employees. Tonight's meeting is 7 p.m. at Town Hall. In sports, the Rockies continue their series with the Cubs today at 640. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports in Dillon. The Summit Trail Running Series opens tomorrow, June 12th, at the Mountain Thunder 4K and 7K in Breck. You can sign up before noon tomorrow online at BreckenridgeRecreation.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.